Welcome to channel everyone. I've got another RV project that my wife and I are working on. We are recovering our valances on our camper. Here's the original right here. And this is what we've got two of them done. So this is how they look. And I'm going to show you step by step how we did it. There's a lot of pieces in here. We've got to take everything apart. I think there's two pieces per side here. This is a piece. This is a piece of wood. And there's a couple of fillers inside. They're a little bit complicated to figure out. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. We're tired of looking at this right here. I know how the RV manufacturers come up with this material. They submit samples to the Funeral Directors Association for consideration. And in our year, our camper was made. This is what they chose. So we're going to get rid of that. I'll try and keep track of how much material we use. My wife's been buying that. We've done two of the small ones already. We've got three big ones left to do, and then we'll be done with it. So follow along, and let's see how it goes. Okay, the first step, we need to take these valances off the wall. So there's a bracket on both lower corners. Just remove the screw. And in the top of the valance, there's two brackets, one towards each corner. It should just pull off the wall. And it's got the day-night shade in there. That'll come out next. So let's take this outside and get started on it. Hey, okay, the first step, we need to get rid of this daylight shade here. Take this screw out of each side on the bottom, and there's some tension on there. With those strings released, we'll pull the blind down out of the way. There's a screw here, one in the center, one on the other end. We take those out and lift the blind out. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take this strip of wood out of here. It's actually just some thin lawn. Yeah, these things have a million staples in them, but we just lay it on the floor, hammer them all down. They're not in the way. Just go right over them next time. All right, next step. We're going to take all this loose inside. This top piece of the valance, all this material has to come off first. So once again, there's a million staples all along here. We're going to work on that. I'm going to take this piece of plywood out of here. separate this whole front piece from this upper frame. Okay, on this here, we're not going to remove that. We're going to take all the staples, bend them down, and we're just going to cover right over it. We'll finish taking this off, the plywood. We can use that for a template. Okay, all those upper pieces are removed. Now we have to take this inner piece out of here, this material, this wraps all the way around and it kind of connects. There's two pieces here. It connects this inner, which is a dark color, to the rest of this front here. So we have to start in the back, remove all these staples and we'll roll that material out of there. Okay, we're going to separate this side piece from these two pieces and we'll try and leave it connected to here. If it comes off, it's no big deal. Okay, the first piece I'm going to do is this center piece that goes up in the top and the material we're using is this dark gray and I'm going to use quarter inch staples on this. I've got quarter, five sixteenths, and a 13 millimeter, depending on how thick we're going. You don't see the back side of this, 
And this material is heavier than what the factory used, so there's going to be some more folds in it, but we'll do some relief cutting in it, a little more stapling, but it'll come out nice. I'm just going to pull this tight, make sure there's no wrinkles in the front. Just start working our way around and stapling it as we go. Okay, now I want to get rid of some of this excess. Well, I'm just going to make some relief cuts in here. And I'll just lay it down this way. Okay, that looks good. Now you may notice in this video, when I'm doing these valances here from start to finish, sometimes it's not the same valance because some clips didn't come out, so I had to reshoot it and use a different valance. So the size may be different, but it's the same sequence from start to finish. Okay, the next pieces I'm gonna do, this is the base color. Most of this is hidden. You just see this strip all the way around the edge here. So again, we didn't need to take off the old material. We're going to go right over the top of it. This is what we have to sandwich on top of that bottom we just did. So the way this material goes on, we just want to overlap this maybe an inch. And we're going to staple this. We're going to tuck our corner on here. This lays on here like that. And we leave all this loose because this will get nailed back to that main framework once that's put together. And then this gets rolled over and it'll wrap down the side of the frame, back up all the way around and finish on the inside of here. So it's pretty simple just to put this part on. So save the old material for a template. Don't cut it short because you've got to do so much wrapping. It'll make sense once we put it together and you'll see. Okay, last piece we have to mess with before we put it all together is the very top. This is the back side. So when we're all done, this will go in here. So what we're going to do is start rolling all these pieces over, get them stapled, and then the rest will be left loose until we put the whole assembly together. So go in there and then the whole rest of this covers the top of the valance and it'll wrap all the way underneath. Okay, now I'm going to staple these two pieces together before they go on the frame. This gets laid over here. Get this reveal evened up. Actually, I think if we just line up these two pieces here and get them flush, we'll put some staples through there all the way down. And staple from the back side. I'm going to use the 13 millimeter staples to go through this thin stuff and into that plywood. And we only need a couple just to hold it. Alright, those two pieces are stapled together and we leave this loose here because this will go on to here and we're going to nail that with, these are 4D finish nails. I don't have a staple gun heavy enough to do all this. Alright, we 
we got that nailed on. This is our excess. Now this has to be wrapped. Stretch this tight. We're going to staple it down in this corner. These corners are a little tricky, so I didn't nail this tight right down here because I need a gap in there. We're going to slide some of this in, and then this will get just rolled over, and we're going to staple this to pull it tight, and then we can start trimming a lot of this excess off of there. That looks good. And then all we need to do, we'll just put a hem on here, staple that down, we'll roll this corner under, we'll trim some of that too. We'll go ahead and do the other side, then we're ready to put the top on. Okay, next we're going to put the two top pieces together. I got my centers marked and line up these bottom corners. They're good right there. Okay, next we're going to lay the top part of the valance on this frame and we're going to staple. This is just that thin glue on so the staples will work. We'll go right through the top piece of plywood, get our corners all lined up. Alright, next, this just gets hemmed underneath and it gets wrapped around, so I want to make sure I have my material where I want it. To roll this back, I'm going to put a few staples in here. Okay, before we roll this over, we need to take that piece of plywood strip we had. This gets tucked inside of here and we want to staple this together. There's a lot of flex there, so you need to put something under here just for a shim to support that. We're going to use the 13 millimeter staples. And we'll put a few through here. That just kind of supports all this stuff. So now we're ready to Roll our material into here. Okay, now pull our material tight and staple it across here. Okay, we roll this edge over. Alright, got these last corners to do, so I'm going to do some trimming here so I can staple it flat down on the floor. Okay, last piece I'm going to put in here is this piece of Luan that goes in here. This is actually a new one I cut. The other one just kind of got disintegrated. So I'm going to staple that down and finish up these edges here and we'll be done. All right, all done. Five of them finished up. Here's the final product. We're happy with them. They look real good. A big. Okay, the time involved to do each blind is roughly about five hours. And I think as far as material goes, we averaged about a yard on the charcoal and two yards on the light gray per each valance. So I think we've got about $225 invested in the whole project. So it's not a real expensive upgrade for your RV little more time involved than anything, but they come out good. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.